What is up guys, it is Tom here and um, in this video today we're going to be installing a mod called the Water Shader Mod. Um, if you haven't already seen this, um, this mod is uh, basically shades in everything, the scenery in Minecraft, onto the water. Like the clouds for instance and all that get shaded onto the water. So this is definitely, definitely one of my favourite mods. But it is only in alpha so uh, <coughs> if you're in the game and you notice a few bugs, um, that is why it is only an alpha and he is still working on it so credit goes out to the fellow that made this mod called the necro wizard so uh, yeah it's pretty it's an awesome mod and uh, I can't wait to see it till it's fully finished but yeah you want to go down to the downloads and um, you want to just click on the 1.8.1 .1 and uh, you can download whichever one you want um, the other the one that says mod loader installation don't use that we don't need that so one of these two whichever one you want and you can bring it to your desktop so when you're on your desktop you'll see the water shader mod um, version 4d zip so you will need to archive your program I uh, suggest using WinRAR or 7zip um, I have a video up on how to install WinRAR on my channel so if you want to take a look at that and uh, what you want to do now is you want to create a backup so you want to go percent app data percent and you'll get a roman folder and inside here you'll have a bunch of folders but you'll see one called the dot minecraft and what you want to do is you want to back this up so you want to go copy and uh, you want to paste it to your desktop so basically if you don't know what I'm doing this is your backup in case um, anything goes wrong um, your minecraft crashes or and then this is your backup so if you want if you had a good world or anything and it crashed uh, people will be complaining well this is uh, the backup so uh, this will back it up and c all you have to do is replace it if Anthem does go wrong but it shouldn't but uh, if you have any other mods while you're doing this definitely back it up because mods collide especially when some are in alpha they collide together um, so yeah don't be uh, make sure you do a backup or else you'll regret it if Anthem does go wrong so I'm going to go ahead and click on the dot minecraft now and you'll see the bin folder and we'll click on that and you'll see a few jar files, a file and uh, an ATOS folder you want to open up your water shader mod now using WinRAR or whatever archive program you're using and you want to click on the water shader version 4D and in here you'll have two more folders and you'll see a shader folder you want to drag the shader folder into the uh, into the bin which has the minecraft.jar in it so you just want to drag it into there so it's, it should be a bin at the top and drag it into there with natives and all that so you want to right click on your minecraft.jar open with WinRAR Archiver <coughs> and uh, you can close your bin now we're finished with that this is your minecraft.jar so this is where basically whenever you're going mod, uh, modern or you're putting in mods this is basically what you uh, this is the whole place where you go modern so you know, first of all you'll see a folder called the meta inf so it's near the top and look for meta inf and cables right click on it and go delete files once that is gone what you want to do is go back to your water shader mod and uh, you bring it over to the side and you want to click on the minecraft folder and bring you in with six class files so what you want to do is go back on your minecraft.jar get your water shader mod <coughs> and highlight the whole, the six class files and you want to drag them over onto the class files inside the minecraft.jar it'll come up in a little window and make sure it's on update mode and it says add and replace files press ok it should do a little flash now you can exit out um, all the mods and all that make sure everything's closed now you can open up Minecraft and you want to run it. Uh, make sure you're not running Minecraft while modding or else it'll come up with the error. Uh, you can't do this while um, you're installing or something like that. It'll just come up with the error. So make sure you're not uh, playing while you're doing this. Um, so it'll just log in. And uh, I'm going to create a new world. Hopefully we'll spawn by uh, water so I can show you really quick. But I'm going to lower down my render distance um, really fast. Uh, hold on. Due to the 1.8 update, um, and it seemed to get really laggy recently. Um, that is for everyone though, due to the amount of stuff that's come into it. But you know, he's gonna work on that notches, so it's not nothing to do with the water shader mod. Um, might have a little effect on it, but it won't have anything big. But <coughs> as you can see, I'm lagging while I'm recording too. But uh, I'll go here. I think there's water here. Ah, there you go. <coughs> it's only shading in now, guys. Uh, there it is. That is <coughs> awesome, um, but you know it's not fully rendered out. But as you can see, it uh, basically looks through the water too. It sees your own shadow. 
as you can see you see my shadow on the water and uh, yeah so it, it's only a uh, alpha but you'll be seeing uh, a lot more with this mod and uh, yeah so thanks guys for watching if you uh, if this helped you uh, leave a like and I will see you in the next video peace